What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm be showing you how to use LUT in Vegas Pro 15. Now for the first part of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the plugins. Now I know some people probably already know how, if that is the case, skip to the time on screen right now. So the LUT pack I'll be using is from FLX Visuals, and you can see it was uploaded a year ago. It's free download, you can see it's on Mega and Dropbox. Completely up to you which one you use, I will be using it on Mega. And it's a very small file size, 3.5 megs, and all you need to do is select download. Once it is complete, you will save it to where you want to. You can see I already have it here, so I don't need to do it again. So once it is downloaded, go to that folder. You'll need WinRAR or WinZip, right click it and select extract here. Now from here, you're gonna get these files and that's the installation done. Next thing you need to do, head back to Vegas. So what we're going to be doing is coming up to the video effects tab. If you don't see it, come to view, windows layout and select default layout. And from there, just either search LUT filter or you can come down here. It's under linear blur and it says LUT filter. Simply drag and drop this onto your video. And from here, the first thing you'll see, we have the interpolation. It can be linear good or it can be tetrahedral best. And then we also have control of the strength. Now, right now, nothing has happened to the video once we've added this in. We first need to select browse where it says file. So we head back to that folder where we just downloaded all the LUT files. And as you'll see, we just need to select one, select open, and that is the effect done. And then you can see it's very strong in terms of color. We can turn that strength down to make it look a bit more better. Just like that and you can see it saves us a lot more time because usually to create this effect you'd have to do brightness and contrast then you'd have to do color corrector then you would probably have to do white balance on top so a lot saves us a lot of time so um this was before that's after just as quick as that then of course we want to change the file select browse let's go on to cube uh, 2.cube we're going to select this one now open you can see it's more of a flat color here more on the contrast side Again, this is before, that's after. Again, huge difference there. And I'll be showing you one more because I'm pretty sure you get the idea now. Uh, cube number three, select it. I'll put the uh, strength all the way up. You can see this is how this looks pretty nice. I like this one, makes the sky go a bit purple. And then we can turn that down just a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to animate this. So if you select the animation button here, it's no longer a standard clock. It actually has a clock and a clock and a clock and a plus <laughs> and um yeah so i'll start the strength all the way up so it's really strong i'll then come across on my timeline uh, you can see here it tells us how far we're across and i also recommend having sync cursor check so as we move across here it will move across here as well so we know where we are on the video and i'm going to go to i'll just stay there and i'm going to put this down to how i actually want it which is here i'm then also going to right click the frame I'm then also going to right click the strength and I will select it as a smooth fade. Now I will X out of this and let's play this through from the beginning. So I'm going to turn down the uh, preview quality. Of course, we've added some heavy effects to this, so my lag, but playing it through now, there we go. Now it did animate uh, just to make it a bit more visual for you. I will turn that all the way down so then you can see it actually works. Just like that. Of course, this is with no strength, but I just end as an example to show you the animation does work. Now I know what I've just shown you. I showed you how to download it on a single event right here, but you can also add it onto an entire track or in the final output. Now, of course, using this rendering time will be bumped up quite a lot simply because you're adding some heavy effects. 